I talk about this in the philosopher tier list and in the stream looking back on it. I talk about how labels dehumanize people basically. This is it. This is another word that people just, they're like, oh yeah, this is a bad word. Yeah, well, there's so many different aspects to the ideology. So in the specific area of, I guess, the whole sex denial thing, I think there's this sort of this allergy to to the word discrimination in a way where we've been told that discrimination is a terrible thing always. But, I mean, it might sound controversial, but discrimination just means that we're... Yeah, I don't know why it's controversial. That's a, a great way to tell someone's an idiot because they don't think. Because discrimination is not a bad thing. Discrimination is absolutely essential. Discrimination is any time you discriminate. Discrimination is, I'm choosing to eat pistachios. I'm discriminating against all the other almonds and walnuts that we have. I'm choosing to not eat those. It's discrimination. It's picking and choosing, basically. If you're, if you're a scientist, you hear the word discrimination all the time because you have to discriminate against subjects. You have to discriminate against um, outliers and things like that. When you're choosing to, um, to go like, okay, this will provide these kinds of results uh, and they're, not, they're, they're biased results. We have to make sure that we uh, discriminate this variable here. Like this is a common word that people say. If you choose to, to go, if there's a wings place and a pizza place and you choose to go to the wings place, you are discriminating. You're picking wings over pizza. In the same way, if you choose to what sexual partner you want, if you want a, a male or a female, you're discriminating against the other one. That's not a bad thing. That's just what you're doing. It's just the action. It's just what it's called. It's discriminating. If you're picking people out and going, you participate this in this or you don't participate in this things or people or whatever it is that's discrimination experiments would discriminate on dogs or rats or whatever all the time and the same way if you choose to do business with someone if you go i'm gonna hire this person or i'm not gonna hire this person it's discrimination now you can discriminate off of things that matter or you can discriminate off of things that are arbitrary that don't matter like if you say i'm not gonna hire this person because of their race doesn't really matter what their race is, you know? What matters is the merit that they have for their job and their experience and their knowledge and their work ethic and all that stuff. If you discriminate on someone based off something that's arbitrary, on something that doesn't make sense, then that's dumb. If you discriminate on... If you say you want to go to a wings place rather than a pizza place, but really you like pizza more, then that's stupid. You're discriminating arbitrarily. It doesn't make sense. But if you're choosing to say, I want to hire a man for this job, or I want to hire a woman for this job, I want to hire a woman for this daycare. I don't want to hire a man for this daycare. That's reasonable discrimination. Why, do, why would you want to hire a man for a daycare? If I went to a daycare to send my kids and I saw a man working there, I'd be like, yeah, no, no I'm not sending my kids there. So when people get mad about discrimination is when usually when they're the ones being discriminated against or they're stupid, they're too stupid to realize that discrimination is not a bad thing. Like no one's forcing you to go to Hooters. Oh, you can't discriminate against ugly girls. You have to have all the all kinds of girls. What? Why? If you don't like Hooters, don't go. If you don't like the, the idea of of someone discriminating and only giving the job to attractive girls, don't give them your business. It's that simple. And let the masses win out. Let the let a democratic process take place where people pay with their wallets, people vote with their wallets. And if they like it, the business will succeed. And if the majority of people don't vote with their wallets, then the business won't succeed. It's that simple. Have freedom, have democracy. When do people become so anti-democracy? When do they become so totalitarian? No, we have to force these people to not allow these things or force them to make a cake for a gay couple or whatever. When do people become so totalitarian? I don't understand it. You have to allow for discrimination. 
distinguishing between two different things in a certain discriminating way. against arbitrary uh, arbitrary things like not hiring someone because of their race or whatever that has to be allowed as well but it, I mean it'll probably be shunned and ostracized and viewed as problematic by society but legally it has to be allowed because who the hell are the lawmakers to say what they're doing is arbitrary or not? That's up to the market and up to the people. And if it works, then it's not arbitrary. If people go, yeah, you know what? I'm going to hire all this one race. I'm going to hire all Asians to work on this engineering problem. I'm going to hire all Mexicans to work on this construction thing. I'm and if you, if you do it and it works, it's not arbitrary anymore. If it is arbitrary, you, you'll lose business. It's that simple. It's forced diversity. It's either forced diversity or forced opposite of diversity, but it's forced. Either way, if you're doing it arbitrarily, if you're going, I'm going to hire women just because I want to hire women in, for my engineering, for my coding thing, and I want to have a diverse group of people, then chances are you're going to get lower quality workers because you're picking from a smaller pool of people. So... If you do the same thing and you essentially force diversity or rather force discrimination to go one way or another, you're forcing a lower quality output of whatever thing they're participating in. So those businesses will fail and you have a strategic advantage by not discriminating. If one engineering company says, we're going to hire only white people and my engineering company says, I'm going to hire everyone so long as you're good in engineering. I'm going to have a way bigger pool of people to choose from, way better engineers. On average, better engineers. My company will succeed, their company will fail. That's the thing. If you allow for discrimination, the bad businesses fail. The businesses that discriminate arbitrarily, that do the wrong thing, they fail. This is not a problem of capitalism. This is not a failing of capitalism. This is a success of capitalism. This is a failing of government interference. Because if government did not interfere, then the bad businesses would fail and the good businesses would succeed. And by the good businesses succeeding, you would be able to see which idea is actually correct, which kind of discrimination is arbitrary versus not arbitrary. And the proof would be the fact that those companies succeeded over their competition. But yeah, just another word with... A negative connotation for no reason. Context. Okay, right, we you're, think you're, of discrimination yeah, as we, like we can, yeah, prejudice. I'm, I'm discriminating in this certain yeah. this certain thing. I mean, if you if you have a, a children's sports league that discriminates against adults, and most people would say that that's a good that's a good type of discrimination. Right. But we've just yeah, sort of adopted this idea that discrimination is really bad, and so now when we talk about uh, trans women in sports or something, we, you know, they think they're being discriminated against and... And you are. Yeah, but that's good. If someone says, hey, you can't come to my college, you have a 1.7 GPA, they're like, okay, cool. Have fun at your college. The results will, will come through. Let's see what your alumni do versus me.